Now let's get into the different types of properties that can be suitable for a second suite. The first one we'll discuss are single story bungalows. Because the majority of the second suites in Ontario are basement suites, single story bungalows work best, especially the ones built in the 1950s and 1960s. There are several reasons for this. Because all the living space has to be placed within a single floor, this translates to a rather large basement space as well for a second suite, minus the mechanical room. Bungalows are the most utilized property type in our experience for second suites. There are typically greater distances between homes, allowing for better privacy of units, and is also ideal for managing the drainage of rainwater, directing it away from the basement. Because of its lot sizes, it's generally easier to accommodate additional parking spaces for second suite occupants. The best bungalows for conversions are the ones that are roughly 800 to 1,000 square feet in size. Similar to single story bungalows are split level homes. These are either side splits or back splits and contain four individual levels. The footprint is similar to bungalows and in many ways may be more appealing for second suite conversions because a portion of the lower suite is actually above grade. In these cases, usually the living room and kitchen of the lower suite is placed in the above grade portion with bedrooms in the lower level. The next one are two-story homes. Two-story detached homes can also be used for basement second suites. Older two-story homes or one and a half story homes may not have a large enough footprint to make a decent sized basement suite, but newer post-1980 homes that are at least 1,500 square feet can be. In many cases, these newer homes don't have a side entrance that can be utilized for a basement suite entrance, so often one has to be created or in some cases, a shared common entrance is used for both units. In terms of the smaller one and a half story homes, it may make sense to put in an addition or carve out a portion of the main floor as part of the lower unit to accommodate the size necessary for a decent second unit. Single-story semi-detached homes are very similar to bungalows, and two-story semi-detached homes are very similar to two-story detached, except that you have a shared party wall in between the neighboring property. This sometimes creates challenges because you obviously cannot have any windows in the party wall. Additionally, the proximity to neighbors in this manner sometimes can create issues related to noise and privacy. Townhouses aren't permitted to have second suites in some cities, but many do allow them now. Similar to semi-detached homes, townhouses can be even more restrictive given that you now have two party walls, unless of course you're in the end unit, which makes them more like a semi-detached home. The additional challenge is the entrance to the unit, which usually has to be a shared common entrance with the main unit. Therefore, windows are the big challenge, However, if you can make it work, such as designing the living space and bedroom at the rear where windows are needed, townhouses are an interesting opportunity as the cost of entry is lower than a detached or a semi-detached home. The ease of parking restrictions and allowance of tandem parking makes conversions of townhouses with second suite a viable option. The key is to create a comfortable interior space. Century homes, such as old Victorian homes often located in the center of town, presents their own sets of challenges. Many of our clients like to utilize these properties for second suite conversions because they are often located in desirable locations and can attract much higher rents. The challenges with these types of homes are A, there's higher chances of water damage and leakage in the basement, B, typically lower ceiling heights in basements, and this may often require lowering the basement to meet the minimum ceiling heights, and C, you're typically unable to provide adequate parking for additional suites and may require minor variances with the city. Despite these challenges, we have seen many investors and homeowners make it work with a century home, and in some cases, utilize the upper floors as second suites as opposed to the basement. 
There are, of course, many other house types where second suites can work, but these are the main ones that we come across. Again, the mid-century bungalow is probably the most ideal layout and is the basis for how we will explain the conversion process in the content to follow. Thanks very much for watching this video. We'll be coming out with more content like this to help you with your project. So be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you can click that like button, it would really help us out. If you don't already have a copy of our two free guides, the eight point checklist and legal second suites, a beginner's guide, hop on over to sweeteditions.com and download them right away to get started on creating better homes, building greater communities and generating lasting wealth. We'll see you soon.